So I will say this. I have met uh, Little Miss Flint, a.k.a. Mari, before, and she is probably one of the sweetest girl, little girls I've ever met. She's so polite, and she's just, she's a total little sweetie. And so she wrote a letter to Obama saying, hey, I know you're busy, but can you come visit Flint? And he wrote back. And so now, next Wednesday, we will be getting a visit from President Obama. So hopefully, after speaking with some of the Flint citizens and finding out what kind of things are going on and how we're still not really getting the help we need, hopefully, we might be able to get an actual disaster declaration rather than just an emergency. Because once you have a disaster declaration, that's when you know you can pull in FEMA, but, and you know, we could have water buffaloes coming in, which are basically huge tankers. So huge tankers full of water. So basically you could just take jugs and go refill them rather than actually, you know, basically using bottled water. So, I mean, it it's super cute and I loved Obama's response to it. I thought it was, you know, it 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 was a good response and then it's I'm glad he's coming. I really think that until you come to Flint and see how it is firsthand that um you you can't fully understand it. I mean, you you can understand it, but you know, there's understanding and getting it. So I think he'll really get it after now, after you he going, comes and visits. I know you had a press pass for the Democratic debates. Mm -hmm. Are you going to get a press pass for the Obama visit? I'm already working on it. So um, I'm sure that there's going to be all sorts of security clearances and whatnot. But I got in touch with um, another photojournalist that I'm – friendly with and said hey do you know what's going on yet and they were like uh nope not yet so time will tell but i i hope so i really hope so what would you like to tell obama and do you have any questions for obama um i'd like to tell him that we're that we need more help than what we're getting we need more money than what we're getting and if i were to ask him something i guess i would probably ask him why it took so long to come visit because it seems like when you have natural disasters like fires or floods or um super storms or hurricanes or you know tornado outbreaks oftentimes you will get a presidential tour well it's been five months since our first emergency declaration and he was in detroit for the auto show well detroit i've flown from detroit to flint and you go up you go down like you don't even get a chance to cruise it's about a 40 minute flight tops absolutely tops so but you know hopefully after he comes and visits then it'll uh it'll bring in some more aid or at least at the very least it'll bring the cameras back around which is good because anytime you have the media there especially if it's nationwide media then the awareness gets out there, the exposure is there.